Mattis Curat will take us through the Shanghai Auto Museum today. China has become the world's largest car market, but motor vehicles have been driven in the Middle Kingdom for quite some time. We'll see some of them now. From the start, the museum presents us with a riddle. Where are the Chinese cars? Everywhere you look, you see European and American vehicles from the history of the automotive industry. Big riverboats from the United States. Little sports convertibles from Britain. Even cars made by arch-rival Japan are on display. But Chinese curiosities? Nowhere in sight. Our search for Chinese cars takes us somewhere else entirely. This is no car, says Matis. Anyone can see it needs to have horses harnessed to it. It's a coach. And this must be one of the most luxurious coaches ever. It was built shortly before Carl Benz invented the automobile. By the way, this coach was also produced in Germany, just like Benz's vehicle with its internal combustion engine. The Isetta was originally Italian, but BMW built it and made it famous. The Messerschmitt bubble car, the NSU Sport Prince, and the VW Beetle were all common sights in Germany in the 1960s, but not in China. This museum could leave you with the impression that Shanghai has the most extensive collection of German cars in the world, but still no Chinese cars. Will we find any soon? If a foreigner wants to drive a car in China, says Matis, he or she usually needs a special Chinese driver's license, which involves lots of bureaucracy and a Chinese driving test. But here in the Shanghai Auto Museum, you have another option. It's only at a simulator, but you can select whatever kind of vehicle you want to drive. Matis says he'll try out a Chinese delivery truck. It probably drives better on the simulator than in reality. Another option, drive a slot car. But here too, the cars and roads are imported, not Chinese. There is no lack of technical exhibits explaining what goes on under the hood of a car. But most foreign visitors won't be able to read the explanations. These exhibits too are mostly imported. Well, Volkswagen is China's biggest car manufacturer. In fact, the VW Santana was a success in China in the 1980s. And finally, right next to the Santana is a real-life Chinese car. And here's another one. Mata says many Europeans think Volkswagen taught the Chinese how to build cars, but that's not entirely true. There were earlier joint ventures with U.S. and Russian companies, and in 1974 came the first car completely developed, designed, and built in China, this Hongqi CA770. In 1974, China also brought out its first mass-produced car, the Shanghai. Like this chic, mint green example with the model name SH-760A. The Chinese kept building the Shanghai into the 1990s in hardly altered form, but in the end with many parts that were also found in the VW Santana. The rear lights and logo script are very reminiscent of the Volkswagen, as is the steering wheel of this Shanghai SH-7221. Almost 80,000 of them were built. This convertible with a raised back seat was intended more for mass rallies than for the mass market. Of course, Chinese transportation is inconceivable without motorcycles and bicycles. You have to look hard to find Chinese cars in the Shanghai Auto Museum. The Chinese auto industry is simply not as big as the European or American. But this museum offers a fascinating array of exhibits and a very thorough overview of automotive history.